Welcome back to Central Minnesota Firewood. My name is Eli. I'm going to show you how you can buy this tool and save yourself $300 a year. Before we jump up on the roof, I'll unbox this little chimney sweep and just let you guys kind of see what what's in there. I'll leave a link down in the description for the one I bought on Amazon and uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> so we got the ball with the whiskers on it for knocking all the crud off there. They sent a pair of gloves with, a little Scotch-Brite pad, and then here's the rods. Comes in a bag for storage. There should be one with a different end on it for the drill. After kind of looking through the directions, then there, there is a drill adapter and I noticed in the bag with the, the ball and the whiskers, there are a couple of extra things. There's a little Allen key and the drill adapter. And that, <clears throat> that looks like it pops in just like the other way. Push that little ball in. It slides right in. The directions to show to use a quarter drill, but that's just a quarter inch, probably less than less than a quarter inch on the adapter. I think you could get away with a pretty cheap small cordless drill in order to use this effectively. Um, all you're trying to do is knock some of that scale off from a year's worth of burning, but we'll jump up there and well, we're gonna start by locating your chimney's clean out. Mine is on the outside of the house. At the bottom of the T, there is a small cap that unscrews. We want to place a bucket underneath there in order to catch all the creosote and soot buildup. We could just let it go on the ground, but I want to keep our landscaping nicer. When we jump up on the roof, we're going to remove the rain cap inspect that for any damage or if there's a bird nest in there just want to give it a good once over make sure everything looks nice take the camera over and take a peek into the chimney pipe there we want to get all that scale off because that can become very flammable, especially if it's if it looks like oil. All the stuff in mine looks like it's just dry, crumbly. That stuff's okay, but we still want to get it cleaned out of there. All the poles and the drill adapter clip together real easy with a little spring button. Now we're just going to hook it up to the drill and we'll run it up and down inside the chimney. Let all that soot fall into the bucket. Just thoroughly do the one pole, unhook the drill, and then we'll add another pole, run it up and down, add another pole, run it up and down until we reach the bottom of the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> 
Be right back. And when we're done, we just unclip all the poles, pull everything back out of the chimney. And take another look back down and see how clean it is. Did a really nice job. It's nice and smooth. And um, that's what we're looking for. We can replace the rain cap, make sure it's secured good. Now that we're up on the roof, it's a great time to kind of kill two birds with one stone, check all your rain gutters, walk around, inspect your shingles, any place where there's plumbing or roof vents or anything that comes through the shingles, it's a good time to kind of just inspect that and prevent any, that way we can prevent any leaks in the future by getting on top of them now. Now we're back on the ground and take a look at the soot in the bucket. And I should have had a better light with me, but there's about a half inch in the bottom of that pail. It's really hard to see. You can kind of get a look at it right there. Now what I like to do is go from the outside into the stove, keep the stove closed up to keep all the soot and the dust away from really kind of filling up the house. Now we're in the house at the stove. What we have to do is remove the reburn pipe that's closest to the doorway and remove the fiberglass insulation panels so that all the soot will fall into the firebox. It's just a, I use a quarter inch ratchet to remove the one screw. There's a quarter inch screw on the left side of the stove that holds that reburn tube in. So we remove that and then just kind of wiggle that pipe back and forth until we're able to get it out. Once all that stuff is removed, we can, re we can close the door and then go from the outside and run the brush up and down inside the chimney pipe again to remove all the soot and the dust and the ash from the inside of the chimney pipe leading into the stove. Now that that's taken care of, we can shovel out all the ash from the last couple weeks worth of burn and vacuum out the stove for the summer and clean it up nice.
Now is a great time to look over the stove and see if anything needs to be addressed. This is a painted stove, so I could repaint the top. Or if you have an older stove, there is a wood stove polish that helps brighten everything back up and, and make the stove look new again. So with a half hour's worth of work and a little bit of sweat equity, we're able to save ourselves a little bit of money and do some preventative maintenance, which could cause us a chimney fire down the road. Thanks for watching. I have 31 other videos you can check out. We'll see you next time. After we've got it 